Well, welcome back, Portal Masters. This is Bri Lander with Portal Power TV. I know what got you here. It was that thumbnail. A lot of you have been asking for uh, some more Five Nights at Freddy's characters, the FNAF, as I call it. Um, and we just yesterday, almost 24 hours ago even, just posted our first uh, Five Nights at Freddy's figure, which was uh, Freddy uh, Fazbear. And in 24 hours, that video has already gotten 36,000 views, which is amazing, guys. I thank you so much. Let's see if this video, who likes Bonnie better than Freddy? Let's see who, which video is going to get more views in its first 24 hours. So, um, guys, we are in the middle of, and I'm not going to say middle, we're just in our series, the Skylanders Reimaginators where we're taking uh, other characters, other figures from other pop culture, uh, video games, uh, old comic books, uh, cartoons, and so forth. We're reimagining them as if they were made by Skylanders. And of course, they're not going to turn out exactly like the original character. This is a reimagination re of those characters. And we're seeing how close to the original we can get, but using the Skylander part. So they're not always going to turn out exact. Uh, they will be a little different in some cases. But this is what they would typically look like, hypothetically, if Activision or Skylanders or Toys for Bob designed them for their games. And so that's really what we're shooting for today. But before we go any further, let's get a crystal on the portal for Bonnie um, I used another undead crystal uh, kind of makes sense as being as their spirits or whatever are taking over these animatronic figures welcome to the creation crystal portal master here you can create your very own imaginator first choose a battle class each class uses a unique type of weapon Okay, and so for Bonnie, just like with um, Freddy, I use Smasher. And we'll see why here in just a few moments. Smasher imaginators pulverize their opponents with enormous smashing weapons. Are you ready to create a Smasher? Choosing a battle class is a final decision. I should. A new Smasher is born. Now, bring your imagination to life. All right, so we are going to start as usual with our looks and our body. Now, this figure is practically identical to Freddy in a lot of its body parts and shapes and size and everything else. It's just there's a few key elements that change that make it from Freddy and turn it into Bonnie. So, coloring being one of those. But So, we're going to look for... You know, the same head that we had on our Freddy. And um, that is actually called the scruff head. So I'm going to search for that real quick. Alright, so there is our scruff head. And then on the eyes. Um, I just stuck with uh, human eyes. Nice! With that and then ears we're actually not going to use any ears because uh, you'll see here in just a few minutes as to why uh, let's see but as far as the chest goes um, we are looking for the going bananas chest so going bananas let's look for going bananas there we go there's our going bananas chest and the reason I picked this particular one is because that thing around on his shoulders and so forth like that kind of comes down and almost looks like a bow tie. Um, and so that's the closest thing we're going to get because unfortunately none of these other guys have bow ties that aren't with suits and stuff like that. So this was as close as we were going to get. So, And then next we're going to go to arms. And then as far as the arms are concerned... Um, we are actually looking for just the standard ape arms, and there they were right there. Okay. Perfect. So there's our ape arms, and then legs. Um, actually, same thing, ape legs, which are right there. Be what a happy dance. And so this is all the same stuff that Freddy has at this point. And Freddy didn't have a tail, however, um, Bonnie does. And so Bonnie has a little cool. bunny tail. Cool, cool. And 
we're going to go back over to here to weapon. And actually, our weapons are locked. Um, I'm going to want to put this uh, this guitar here because um, Bonnie carries a guitar. Granted, uh, his is more of an electric guitar, but this is the close they have, so him carrying a guitar would be great. So I've got to be at least level four in order to put that on. So probably before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and level him up real quick and then come back into creation. So let's go ahead and do that. I rule over the undead. Okay, I'm gonna go into this battle arena and then level him up. Battle arena. Jump in there and call it the Skylander leveling up. By saying foo yeah. You know, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Alright, so we are we kind of like catapulted right past level six, right into level seven. But uh, we're where we need to be, so we're gonna go ahead and go back into um, we've got our body pretty much set up, so we're going back into the weapon and we're looking for that uh, acoustic guitar. There we go. So Bonnie carries a guitar. And as far as gear goes, the only gear is going to be this bunny hat. And that's about as close as we're going to be able to get to making it look like Bonnie because um, none of the uh, ears in the uh, for the Imaginators uh, are bunny ears. And that's kind of weird because they've got a lot of other animal ears, but not that one. So anyway, um, we're going to back out here. I don't believe, uh, yeah, I didn't give her a backpack of any kind, but sizing will matter um, here. So we're going to take a look at size. Let's get her, uh, get him sized up real quick. All right, so from a size perspective, I think that pretty much nails us pretty good right there. And then coloring, as I say in all these videos, this is where the magic happens. So let's start off with the head and uh, we'll go ahead and get uh, Bonnie colored up here and you can just kind of sit back and relax and watch it happen. All right, so from a color perspective, there we go. That is my Bonnie. My Bonnie lies over the, oh, I'm sorry, that was bad. Um, but this is Bonnie, and again, um, you know, that red thing around his neck, um, even though it's kind of more of like a, you know, shoulder thing, you know, it's it looks a little bit from this angle like it would be a bow tie, and so that's kind of just there to as a placeholder for that more than anything else. And so, but this is Bonnie. And um, let's see, as far as personality goes, we got to give, it's, this is Bonnie. All right. And from a, voice, rule over the a voice point of view, this is the voice that I gave Bonnie. And it really almost doesn't expect. No matter what I put up no. here. All right, listen to that right there. So, usually the only thing you hear from Bonnie is a loud, like, high, shrill screeching, and there's no real voice being used, and so that 
It's about the closest to that. You can just imagine that voice coming at you and screaming and scaring the living daylights out of you. So there's the voice for that. And then last but not least, um, I didn't use any music, but I did uh, give him the effect. Let's go through all these effects here. We went with the haunted effect. And as far as the look goes, we can go ahead and, since he's an undead, and I don't really haven't used this that often, I'm going to use the undead elemental aura and give that kind of just an added eeriness to his, his gameplay. So anyway, what do you think of Bunny? I guess we'll go ahead and real quick we'll um, see what he is like in the game. Now that he's on the screen, what do you think about Bonnie? You know, you look at him from a distance like this when he's on the screen, and he looks pretty good. Yeah, we can also look into his powers real quick and see if there's anything specific that he would use. Like uh, smash things in front of you with full force and it's around you with a club. So, um, Bonnie seems like the kind that would definitely go with that. Uh, right now we've got the Tombstone Timber, um, but Bonnie probably um, turn the souls of your enemies into health orbs. That would be kind of cool. We'll see what that lens up looking like. And then here comes the pain. Um, the seismic blast uh, will do good. So, the seismic blast is like slamming down on the ground and knocking stuff out. That's really good. So, how does that look right there? Or maybe me and Broccoli Guy come out of retirement to win it all. What the? Oh, I see. The Skylander just leveled you know, up. One other thing I'll do real quick is let me pull him off the portal. Just to give us um, a quick shot of his magic moment, so to speak. So here is putting Bonnie back on the portal. Haha. -ha. Oh, you can see that when you got all these health orbs and stuff. When you knock somebody out, and you got all these health orbs. You do that, and it sucks them in and turns them into health. That's a good one. Oh, what do you guys think? Let me know what you would change or what body, other body parts you would use or whatever in order to improve upon my version of Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy. And I guess what I'll do is at the end of this round, I'll go ahead and chirp him out, since that's what probably most of you are waiting for anyway. Alright. But how 
Will you fair in the All right, well, as promised, we'll go ahead and chirp Bonnie out. And here goes the chirp. If you're not familiar with what this is, watch some of the earlier videos um, of my Skylander Imaginator series, and you'll get the hand handle on this really, really quick. Alright, I'm going to chirp it out one more time just to make sure we get a good signal. Alright guys, that is my version of Bunny. I'm going to finish this last round here. And then I might even go out into the map and goof around with her or him a little bit more. Um, just to get to see what he looks like in the game and so forth. So uh, feel free to stick around and watch all of that. Of course, if you want to take this opportunity to go check out one of my other videos, there is a full list in the description below of all of my other Skylander Reimaginator series. Uh, so feel free to check into those. And don't forget to leave me a comment or a like just to let me know you were there. And again, let's see if this video will end up making more views in its first 24 hours than the Freddy video did. So, if you like it, you know, you can maybe share it with your friends, send them links to the video and tell them to watch it. Or I usually post on Twitter and Instagram. And you can go in and reshare or retweet. Jump in there and call the Skylander leveling up. By saying booyah. Yeah, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Uh oh, things are starting to get chippy in here. And by that, I don't mean a place where one buys fish and chips. Look at Bonnie kicking Skylander bad guy butt. I'm pretty sure that they all came together, so going home now would require a lot of coordination, and I just don't think they have the organizational skills to pull it off. Oh, wow, Chill Bill. It is a pretty bad day to be a bad guy. Oh, this dude is really looking for a fight. I can see it in his eyes, Broccoli Guy. He just has that look, you know? Those Skylanders appear to be kicking a lot of butt today. Oh, just incredible. Oh, so true, Jill Bill. And I guess I always realized that they kick butt. I just didn't know they kicked this much butt. Oh, boy. <laughs> see you later. Oh, I see. The Skylander just leveled up. I forgot that was a thing for some reason. <laughs> And another one bites the dust. And believe me, too, it does not taste good. Dust, I mean, not good. Look at him taking his guitar and just smashing. Y'all realize that that's a guitar he's got there. He is just smashing his enemies with the guitar. All right, and there is the end of the battle arena. That was excellent. I laughed, I cried, but mostly just watched in appreciation. I'm glad you're not laughing and crying anymore, because frankly, it did kind of come off as a little crazy. Still, though, great W for the Skylanders. Skylander, that was awesome. And I'm talking about the good kind of awesome here, too. <laughs> Although, now that I think about it, I guess there really is no other kind. Well, anyway, nice job. And hey, here's a... New headgear. Ward for all that hard work. What do you think? There's Bonnie. 
Let's take Bonnie out here into the uh, the map. Hmm, do we want to run over here and do a quick surprise attack? Let's try that out. Surprise, surprise attack. for the Skylander. And ooh, those baddies had a chest full of gear you might be interested in. New bow slinger weapon. All right, guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to see you in the next one. This is Brylander with Portal Power TV signing off. Take care and God bless.